Greetings, some women and almost infinitely more men. You know, it's important to reconnect to your roots. Since I live in the internet, my roots go back to the very dawn of wicked history, the 1990s, when friends still roamed the earth and boba tea was just a glint in Froyo's eye. Show us how it's done, early adopters. But seriously, if you call it the information superhighway, I'm out. Five absurdly misguided 1990s how-to internet videos. Number five, caught in the web. If you watched Tron Legacy and thought, this is almost too immersive, then swallow that bite of unflavored oatmeal, my friend, and check out this shit. So what was stolen? What wasn't? Dad, they took my computer. I wish I could figure out how all this happened. You Hutchison? Craig Hutchison? Uh, yeah? And I mean literally check out. There is no doubt in my mind this is available on VHS at your local library. Look in the way back by the laser discs. Come on! Where are we? Cyberspace, the net, the web, you know, out there. Even as it naively tries to scare us into changing our passwords, Caught in the Web showcases a simpler time in internet life. A time when virus detection was as easy as surfing down an energy tube. A time when you only had to worry about your kids accidentally googling double entendre, instead of worrying about them googling literally any word, or clicking any link on any page, or using chat rooms specifically designed for kids, or even just sitting in front of the webcam. Let's meet Katie. Looks like Katie could use a shave. That's Yelp. That's what Yelp used to be. Number four, how to have cyber sex. You've heard of computer sex, but is there really such a thing? Absolutely. Having sex with an online partner is easy to learn. I'll show you how to reach a cyber sex climax. Lesson one, don't tell them I am reaching a cyber sex climax. Just type splooge city in all caps like a normal person. Also, what's with the editing? Yeah, that. Stupid. Let's get started. So, I'm just kind of gonna, gonna get a general idea of who's here, what's going on. That is not what you wear when you cyber sex. This is what you wear when you cyber sex. You see what I'm holding up? You will notice that it is nothing. Light dusting of Doritos dust, if anything. Now let's see if we can find someone interested in having a little cyber sex. I'm gonna put, I'm very horny. Ugh, come on! And I'm looking. I could have had cyber sex so many times by now. For some good cyber sex. Seriously, my cyber kid is applying to online colleges. Are you interested? What ho? What's all this then? I guess she was typing like my arthritic aunt because she was taking her shirt off and applying that black bar at the same time. And he puts yes with lots of Whoa. S's. Red flag. My advice? You don't want to mess with this guy. He's either got a disturbingly sticky keyboard or he's a snake man. Tell you what, you want to cyber safely with a droid who knows what he's doing? Hit me up on realtime.net.com. That's C-O-N con, like a fake scam. My screen name is M. Bring a valid credit card. Doesn't have to be yours. Number three, how computers work. Hi, I'm science correspondent David Heil. Yeah. My right. friends and I are discussing a rather touchy right. subject. Gay rights, abortion, immigration, legal weed, that you live on the set of a breakdance video, the fact that your name is Heil. Computers. Oh, computers. We use computers all the time, but there still seems to be this aura of mystery and complexity surrounding them. It's almost like they were an electronic brain or something. Hey! I will have you know that my electronic brain has very little mystery or complexity to it. Anyway, to truly learn about a computer, as with anything, you must climb inside of it. That's why I'm banned from so many zoos. I mean, this is the only place I know that you can actually climb inside of a computer. Except for all the early ones alleged authority on computers. The rest of the video is like, I have no mouth and I must scream, if the computer was torturing them exclusively with boredom and the creepy eyes from The Great Gatsby. It's like Lord of the Flies meets a room of one's own. You know? I've been reading more lately, I just wanted somebody to know. Number two, Kid's Guide to the Internet. 
Uh-oh, that's not a good sign. On your mark, get set. We're riding on the internet. Cyberspace set free. Hello. All right. Hey there, it's us again. This is my brother Peter, mom and dad, and I'm Dasha. Aw, just your basic stock photo family doing internet. Rip. And the kids are improving in their grades and communication skills. Which makes me happy, as I would sure like them to go to college someday. I too am pleased for my friends and the success their children can surely expect. Jesus, it's like they're a forgotten Soviet-era sleeper cell or something. What's a web page? Something ducks walk on? No! You shut up! Ducks walk on? You shut up! And you go back to your podunk schoolyard sh kickers with that Laffy Taffy rapper sh plays, and you leave this game to the f***ing professionals, you understand me, you little prick? Even your production title's a rip-off. Figure out porn already, dumbass. Now that I've gotten on the internet, I'd rather be on my computer than doing just about anything. Number one, two friends teach you Windows 95. Boom! They just made a million dollars a piece. Task bars and email and shortcuts, oh my. Task, Task bars, bars and, and email and shortcuts, oh my. The Friends the cast bars. was so big in the 90s, they could barge into Microsoft HQ babbling like maniacs virtually without consequence. I think I'm gonna press that red button. Really? Uh Windows. I know Windows. Get it? Because they trapped a bunch of people in a box and left them to die. You pressed a button and people got zapped into the computer and now, uh, what do we do? Leave. What is it with 90s instructional videos supporting the fear of being sucked inside a computer? Humans, as a robot, let me say, I do not want to suck you inside of myself. Also, learn hotkeys. Drag it down to copy, then paste. This is so trippy. No, what's trippy is that for all of this video's glaring inaccuracies, it gets the most key component of internet life absolutely right. Oh boy, an entire gallery of cat owners photos. Do they have an audio tour with this? <laughs> Let's look at buttons. Oh, do do poo poo. Sidebar, a director told that man to make cute nonsense noises about his cat and he chose to say with his lips, doo-doo poo-poo. He chose that. Then again, as today's episode has proven, the 90s was a different time. This is Bill Gates' computer. I mean, that is like using Wayne Gretzky's hockey stick. Yeah, well, nobody's leaving until somebody's mad enough to play a little 3D pinball with old joystick Johnny. Why don't we send some email over the internet to my buddy Tim? He'd freak if he knew we were here. Oh, no, not that guy in the grunge band. The Microsoft Network is your on-ramp to the information superhighway. Hey! Information what? Super what way? That's it! This episode is over. Jack! Jack! We'll go to the building he is in and get him then! <laughs>